increase of explosive eruptions at Mount Etna volcano. The aviation code is red. Ash clouds have reached over 15,000 feet. This is the latest on volcano discovery. Etna volcano updates and eruptions, the latest. Etna volcano volcanic ash advisory issued by the following report. 1833 UTC, 27th of July, area Italy, summary elevation 3,330 meters, INGV webcam sat data, aviation color code is red, eruption started at 0920, uh, the next advisory no later than well, I guess in a little while. I can't remember. I can't figure out the, the letters there. Now, the Volcanic Advisory Center Toulouse issued the following report. As we read, some major historic eruptions included 122 BC, the large Plilian outburst that created the small caldera, 1669 AD, devastating flank eruption that destroyed 15 villages in part of Catania, 1787, subplinian eruption and one of the most spectacular summit eruptions on record. Lava fountains reportedly up to 9,000 feet in height. The lava eruptions, can you imagine? Now, volcano eruptions near continuous activity. Mount Etna is on Sicily, located uh, locally called Mongibello, is Europe's largest and most active volcano. Its frequent eruptions are often accompanied by large lava flows, but rarely pose danger to inhabited areas. Etna is one of the volcanoes with the longest historic records of eruptions going back more than 2,000 years. Etna towers above Catania in Sicily, is the second largest city of Sicily and has one of the world's longest documented records of historical volcanism dating back to 1500 BC. Historical lava flows cover much of the surface of this massive volcano, which makes it the highest and most voluminous in Italy ever since ancient times. The volcano seems to have been in near constant activity. It's considered, after Kilauea on Hawaii, the second most active and productive volcano on Earth. So Kilauea is number one, Mount Etna is number two. Two styles of eruptive activity typically occur at Etna. One is a persistent explosive eruption, sometimes with major lava emissions, from one or more of the four prominent summit craters, the Boca Nova, the Voragin, that's a former central crater, the northeast crater and the, nor the southeast crater, the latter formed in 1978. And two, Activity from the flank eruptions, typically with higher effusion rates, are less frequent and originate from fissures that open on the volcano's flanks. Such flank eruptions, such as the spectacular recent ones in 2001 and 2002-3, commonly form cinder cones that dot the volcano in their hundreds. The history of the volcanic eruptions in Etna the first took place at Etna about 500,000 years ago, with eruptions occurring beneath the sea off the ancient coastline of Sicily. About 300,000 years ago, volcanism began occurring to the southwest of the summit, the center top of the volcano. Then activity moved towards the present center 170,000 years ago. Eruptions at this time built up the first major volcanic edifice, forming a stratovolcano in alternating explosive and effusive eruptions. The growth of the mountain was occasionally interrupted by major eruptions, leading to the collapse of the summit to form calderas. From about 35,000 to 15,000 years ago, Etna experienced some highly explosive eruptions, generating large paraclastic flows which left extensive ignimbrite deposits. Ignimbrite is a variety of hardened tuff. Ignimbrites are igneous rocks made up of crystal and rock fragments in a glass shard ground mass 
albeit the original texture of the ground mass might be obliterated due to high degrees of welding. Now ash from these eruptions has been found so far away as Rome's border, which is about 500 miles to the north. Thousands of years ago, the eastern flank of the mountain experienced a catastrophic collapse, generating an enormous landslide in the event similar to that seen in the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. The landslide left a large depression on the side of the volcano known as Valle del Bove, or Valley of the Ox. Research published in 2006 suggests that this occurred around 8,000 years ago and caused a huge tsunami which left its mark in several places in the eastern Mediterranean 8,000 years ago. This might have been the reason the settlement of Al Atlit Yam in Israel now is below sea level, was suddenly abandoned around that time. I mean, uh, there's a, I'm reading now from a Wikipedia, and if you go to the geological history area, you'll see that Atlit Yam has underwater ruins. Uh, there's a scuba diver there, and uh, he's right at them. It's an ancient submerged Neolithic village off the coast of it, Atlit Israel it has been carbon dated as to between 8,900 and 8,300 years old. Among the features of the 10 acre site is a stone circle. So that may have caused, that tsunami may have caused the um, reason why the settlement of Atlit Yam is now below sea level. The steep walls of the valley of uh, Etna have suffered subsequent collapses on numerous occasions. The strata exposed in the valley walls provide an important and easily accessible record of Etna's eruptive history. The most recent collapse event at the summit of Etna is thought to have occurred about 2,000 years ago, forming what is known as the Piano Caldera. This caldera has been almost entirely filled by subsequent lava eruptions, but is still visible as a distinct break in the slope of the mountain near the base of the present-day summit cone. Mount Etna is moving towards the Mediterranean Sea at a, an, an, exa, an astonishing rate of 14 millimeters, or about half an inch every year. The massive sliding on an unconsolidated layer above the older sloping terrain Recent eruptions, large lava flow from an eruption in 1928, led to the destruction of a population center for the first time since 1669 eruption. The eruption started high on Etna's northeast flank November 2nd. The new eruptive fissures opened at decreased elevations down the flank of the volcano. The third and most vigorous of these fissures opened late on November 4th at an unusually low elevation, about, about 1,200 meters, or about 4,000 feet above sea level, in a zone known as Ripe de la Naca, the village of Mascali, lying downslope of the Ripe de la, de la Naca, was almost completely destroyed in just two days. Only a church and a few surrounding buildings survived in the north part of the village called San Antonino, or Il Cartiere. During the last days of the eruption, the flow interrupted the Messina Catania railway line and destroyed the train station of Mascali. Now we're talking about the year 1928. The event was used by Benito Mussolini's fascist regime for propaganda purposes, with evacuation aid and rebuilding operations being presented as models of fascist planning. Mascali was rebuilt on a new site and his church contains the Italian fascist symbol of the torch placed above the statue of Jesus Christ. Now other major 20th century eruptions occurred in 1949, 1971, 79, 81, 83, 91, 93, and in 1971 lava buried the Etna Observatory that was built in the late 19th century, destroying the first generation of the Etna cable car, seriously threatening several small villages on Etna's east flank. In March 1981, the town of Radazzo 
on the northwest flank of that not narrowly escaped destruction by unusually fast-moving lava flows. The eruption was remarkably similar to the one in 1928 that destroyed Mascali. The 1991-93 eruption saw the town of Zafirana threatened by lava flow, but successful diversion efforts saved the town with the loss of only one building a few hundred meters from the town's margin. The main explosion, 23rd of May 1992, destroyed the tube and forced the lava into a new artificial channel far from Zafirana, and it would have taken months to re-establish a long lava tube. Shortly after the blasting, the rate of lava emission dropped, and during the remainder of the eruption, until March 30th, 1999, the lava near uh, never advanced close to the town again. And following six years, 1995 to 2001, unusually intensive activity at the four summit craters of Etna. The volcano produced its first flank eruption since 1991-93 and July-August 2001. This eruption, which involved activity from seven distinct eruptive fissures, mostly on the south slope of the volcano, was a mass media eruption because it occurred at the height of the tourist season and numerous reporters and journalists were already in Italy to cover the G8 summit in Genoa. It also occurred close to one of the tourist areas on the volcano and thus was easily accessible. In 2002-2003, much larger eruption threw up a huge column of ash that could easily be seen from space and fell as far away as Libya. That's about 370 miles south across the Mediterranean Sea. Seismic activity in this eruption caused the eastern flanks of the volcano to slip by up to two meters, that's over six feet. And many houses on the flanks of the volcano experienced structural damage, of course. The eruption also completely destroyed the tourist station Piano Provenaza on the northeastern flank of the volcano. In September 4th, 2007, a spectacular episode of lava fountaining occurred from a new vent on the east side of the southeast crater also producing a plume of ash and scoriae, which fell over the east flank of the volcano. A lava flow traveled about 2.8 miles, 4.5 kilometers, into the uninhabited Valley de Bove. This eruption was visible far into the plains of Sicily, ending the following morning between the hours of 5 to 7 a.m. local time. Through January 20, 2011, February 2012, the summit craters of Etna were the site of intense activity. Frequent eruptions and ash columns forced the authorities to shut down the Catania airport on several occasions. July 2011, an episode also endangered the Spazienda Refuge, the main tourist hub on the volcano. On December 3, 2015, an eruption occurred which climaxed between 3.20 and 4.10 local time. The Voragina crater exhibited a lava fountain reaching 3,300 feet in height, with an ash plume which reached almost 10,000 feet in height. The activity continued on the following days with an ash plume reaching 23,000 feet in height, and that forced the Catania airport to shut down for a few hours. Volcanic gas emissions from this volcano are measured by a multi-component gas analyzer system which detects pre eruptive degassing of rising magmas, improving prediction of the volcanic activity. An eruption December 24, 2018, following a dike intrusion at shallow depth, spewed ash into the air, forcing the closure of airspace around Mount Etna. Two days later, a magnitude 4.9 earthquake shook the nearby city of Catania, damaging buildings and injuring four people. Volcanic Explosivity Index of Recent Eruptions. The Global Volcanism Program assigned a Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI, to all of Mount Etna's eruptions since January 1955. The number of eruptions of VEI-3 were 7, and the total of eruptions of 49. VEI-2 were 24, VEI-1 were 17.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.